Hello all, in this particular tutorial, I'll be talking about how to install Oracle 19C database on Windows machine. This particular tutorial is done on VirtualBox 7.0 Windows Server 2022 Data Center Edition Evaluation version and Oracle 19.3 or Oracle 19C. Now VirtualBox 7.0, if you are doing it on your local machine like laptop or your personal computer then you don't need to use virtual box i am doing it in a virtual machine and hence i am using virtual box virtual box is a free software from oracle the oracle 19.3 or oracle 19c again you can download it from the oracle website however you need to set up your oracle account using your existing email id you don't need to create a new email id for oracle account you can use any of your existing email id to set up your oracle account the windows server 2022 data center edition that's the microsoft product it's an evaluation version microsoft allows you to try the server edition for 180 days and you you can just fill up a form and download the evaluation version now the steps to get the oracle 19c running on windows is first thing as i mentioned you'll have to download the oracle 19c for windows you'll have to create an oracle account if you do not have one once the software is downloaded, you will be transferring that particular software to the Windows target server. Wherever you want to uh, install the, uh, the Oracle 19C, you will transfer the software. Once you extract the software, then you will find a utility called setup.exe in the extracted folder. You will run that utility as an administrator. Once this particular setup.exe is completed, your Oracle installation is completed. At this moment, your Oracle installation is completed. You do not have the database. All that you did is you installed the Oracle binaries or Oracle software. Next step is to create the listener using NetCA, then create the database using the DBCA. Now, if you do not create the Nets, you, if you do not create the listener using the NetCA, you can create the listener while running the dbca so the dbca will allow you to create the listener so the choice is yours whether you want to create the listener first and the D database or while running the database creation you can create the listener once all of this is done when you run the dbca once your database is created now you you are ready to test you will use another utility called sql developer it's a gui application from oracle it's a freely the downloadable tool for the developers you will download that particular application and you will test the connectivity to your oracle database now again you can use any of other application that works with oracle database it's not mandatory to use sql developer however i'm using the sql developer now the netca what is netca i just wanted to mention netca is oracle net configuration assistant the way it works is net this net c a. that's how the netca and the dbca is for the database creation configuration assistant that's d of here b from here c and e a database configuration assistant. the netca allows us to create listener and does the network configuration dbca allows us to create database drop database and allows us to modify the settings for the existing database so however we are going to use netca to create listener dbca to create database we are not going to see the other functionalities now let's get on with our tutorial first thing that you need to do is download the oracle 19c for windows so open your favorite browser search for download oracle 19c for windows you will get this particular link click on this you might if you have not already signed in you have to sign in if you have if you have signed in then you can click on this download button you, you will say i reviewed and accept the oracle license that's done and the download started now once that particular software is downloaded we need another software the sql developer so what we can say is we can say download sql developer so let's open another tab and look for download sql developer click on it choose the jdk 11 if you have already the java development kit installed you don't you can go for this particular software however if you do not have jdk installed then choose this particular software again click on this accept the license and download the software so that's the download is right now running once the software is downloaded the next step as i mentioned is transfer the software and extract it on the windows target server so let's wait for the download to complete so the downloads is completed 
I do not need this Firefox anymore now. So let's close it and let's go to the, I've already transferred the software to this particular machine. So let's go to D drive and you can see I have already transferred that particular software. So let's extract that particular software. Uh, the, I'm right now extracting the software. So I'll give it a minute for the extract to finish. Where is my desktop? Yeah. Software is completely extracted. Now what I'm going to do is I'm, I am I can delete this or if you want to keep it, you can keep it. I'm going to rename this to Oracle 19C Home. Now, the this becomes the Oracle Home. This directory becomes the Oracle Home. So you may make sure that you place it in the correct drive and with the correct name because this, it can be changed, but it's complicated to change. So let's get things correct at this first place. So this becomes the Oracle home under this. This is the extracted file under this. You will find this setup. We'll run this particular setup as the, as the administrator. And this will launch this particular setup using this particular setup. We can do two things. We can either create the install the software and create the database. So this is the first option create and it's install and create the database or we can just do the setup the software only if we choose this particular option then we have to specify multiple options we have to give multiple inputs so we will just set up the software and once the software is installed we can use the another utilities to create the database so we will in this particular now we'll just set up the software and we will create the database later so that all you if you want you can choose this there is no harm in choosing this both options are perfectly fine so click on next single instance yes we are okay with single enters enterprise edition based on what kind of license you have enterprise edition or se2 choose the license click on next you can use the virtual account you can use the existing windows user you can create a new windows user or you can use the windows built-in account i'll stick with use virtual account click on next the oracle base so it has suggested that the oracle base will be d app as well say again it's you can change this it's not mandatory to go with oracle recommendation whatever you want to set your oracle base so d app oracle base that's what i'm setting and now it's going to do the prerequisite checks and if all of the prerequisite checks are met then we are finally ready to install if you want to save the response file for next time to run it in the silent mode you can save it and click on the install and the oracle software has started installing right now the oracle software installation will not take much time it's going to take few seconds however i'll pause and come back once the software is installed the software, as you can see, the registration of Oracle database was successful. So the software is completely installed. So we are good with the installation. So that's done. We can successfully close this at this moment. At this moment, the software is installed. You do not have any database. You do not have any database. Remember that only thing that you have done is the software has installed. Now, as I mentioned in the document, there are two ways now one we can create the listener again it is not mandatory to create the listener the dbca will allow us to create the listener we can use the netca utility to create the listener we can use the dbca to create the database however there are other ways of doing that so if you launch the start menu you can hear you can see that we have got something called net configuration assistant you can click on that and it will launch the the net ca net oracle net configuration assistant it will launch what you can also do is you can actually launch the windows command prompt so let me launch the windows command prompt and type in net ca so let me clear the screen let me yeah and type net ca and it's going to exactly launch the same utility that we saw when we clicked here so either way is fine you can go here and click on this or you can launch the windows command prompt and launch net ca so listener configuration click on next new listener add default listener name we can stick with default name that's fine protocols we can choose one or more protocols click on next default port if you want to change it you can change it to 
say 1522 or whatever port i'll stick with default port click on next and that's it's if it's going to create the listener as you can see it has created a listener and it's also going to start the listener so give it a minute so it's also going to start the listener so next and next and oh i wanted to say no okay so cancel this is done and okay so the listener is created now to create the database you can launch the database configuration assistant dbca dbca you can launch it from here or what you can do is the way we have done the netca you can type dbca you can type the dbca and it's going to launch this particular utility where we got where, where using this particular utility we can create the database if you had existing database you can delete the database manage templates and other options are there we'll stick with create a database click on next and what is the database name so let's say aura 19 and where you want to store the deep database files where you want to store the fra what is the character code and what is the sys password sys and sys pen password and whether you want to create a container database and since i'll stick with non-container i'll give the password which is pretty simple so password password so i'm giving the password is going to give us the warning saying that password does not meet the recommended standards we can change it at a later point in time so that's fine i'm going to give simple password and later i'll change it not in this tutorial i uh, so now what we are what i'm going to also do is i'm going to create i'm going to say where is my oracle aura data so i'll, I'll create a directory called aura data and where is my fra so i created a directory called fra now remember in production never place your fra in the same drive as your aura data so let's not let's not do that in the production however this is the test system so this is all good so i'm going to change this to e drive aura data and i'm going to change this to e drive fra and that's all good and i'm going to say next and it gives us this warning admin password does not confirm and I, we are aware and we can change it at a later point in time so that's fine and it gives us all of this summary and if you are okay if you are if you are fine with all of this review this one more time if you are fine with this if you want to save the response file you can save the dbca response file and if you are okay you can click the finish now what i'm going to do is i'm not going to click the finish and what i'm going to do is instead of going, giving for the typical configuration i'm going to choose the advanced configuration and why do i do that because advanced configuration actually allows us to store allows us to specify more than more multiple options that we were not able to specify when we went in the typical configuration so now we can choose whether we want a DW data warehousing, OLTP database or customer database. What kind of database? So we, this is not a rack. So we are going with Oracle single instance database. Click on next, the SID and the database name. So it allows us to specify the database name and SID. You can specify the SID different than the uh, global database name. If you want to create a container database, you can choose this and how many container databases you pdbs you want to create you can choose that i'm going to stick with non cdb arctic architecture here it allows us if you want to use omf you can use omf where you want to store your database files e drive aura data uh, use and it will create a folder called with a db unique name which is aura 19 so in under e drive aura data automatically a new folder called aura 19 will get created click on next if you want fra where is the fra what is the size of fra click on next listener it and the listener that we created the 1521 listener that we created using the netca it has already selected that particular listener again it is not mandatory to create a listener the dbca will allow you to create a listener you can give any name here so whatever name you want to give and whatever port you want to give you can do that or you can you can select the default listener i'm going to uh, i'm going to choose this listener that we created click on next if you want to configure the vault if you want to configure the label security if you you can do that click on next i'm not going to do that sga and pga so you can specify the sga such as let's say 2048 and let's say 1024 which is basically and you can change the unit here so i'll say 2 gb and i'll say 1 gb of of pga sizing how many processes character sets you can change the character sets 
connection mode dedicated or shared server sample schemas if you want to add sample schemas click on next all good click on next and then it asks us to whether you want to set up the em database express or registered em control and all of this whatever here and everything can be changed like this pga sga it can be changed at a later point in time so it's not like this whatever you specify is not going to be the end of world you can change it at a later point in time so if, if you want to register your database with database express or with the enterprise manager you can choose and provide those details click on next i'm not going to register it click on next this the password you can say use the same password for all accounts so sys and system it will use the same password it has it's pre-populated this is actually the one which i did in the typical configuration the password is password literally it gives us this warning again is it will give us this warning and i'm going to say oh yes and the reason why i'm going to say yes is because I, we can change it at a later point in time create database at this moment we are ready to create the database if you want to change some of the storage location where the control file will go what uh, sorry what is the locations what is the maximum data files what is the where is the data files will go where is the redo log will go etc if you want to change it you can change it and close and if 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 you you can see here everything is omf structure and if you want to if you don't want the omf structure you could could have very well said here under the storage option uh, no no here i don't want to use omf that's also fine click on next 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 all is good uh, yes and then now if i say sorry now if i say the where is my storage options so if i say custom storage options and now i can see where is my control file where is my data file etc etc it gives the name of all of this and now if i click next again the summary if, if you want to review all of this summary you can review this if you are fine with this everything looks good to you then you can click on finish and once you click on the finish what would have happened here is under the aura data you can see automatically aura 19 directory came and under this it will create system sysox undo users and temp uh, files it is going to create those data files and temp file and that's going to take some time so what i'm going to do while it's happening because it's going to take literally it's going to take close to 10 to 12 minutes or maybe more based on how powerful your system is on my system it takes 10 to 12 minutes and i do not want to waste your time so and if you want to look at the dbca log what's currently happening you can look at the dbca log and in few minutes the database alert log will also appear so you can look at what this particular utility is doing so if it's stuck somewhere you can look at those two logs to identify what's happening so right now the database is getting created and it's going to take some time so i'm going to pause the video and come back once the database is created as you can see the database is creation is complete and if you want to change some passwords you can click on the password management i'm not going to do that and where is the sp file it gives this the name of the database name the oracle sid and the location of sp file if all good if everything looks good you can close this at this moment our listener is up our database is also up so we have created the listener we have created the database now if you want to connect to the database you will say uh, you will set the variable so set oracle sid equals aura 19 and let's say sql plus as sysdba if you want to connect as sysdba you'll say this and let's verify select name which should be aura 19 comma open mode which should be read write from v dollar database and if everything is good then we can see that the database that we created is aura 19 and it's in the read write mode so all good now what we are going to do is we are going to do the remote connectivity test using the sql developer so i'm going to i'm going to launch i have already extracted the software it's it comes in the zip i have already extracted the software it's called sql developer so i'm going to launch that particular software let's wait for it to open it's a heavy software so it's it might take some time and what i'm going to do now is i am click on this plus button to set up your connection so 
click on the plus you can use the tns names as well that's a different concept i'll not cover how the tns names works if you'll give any name it can be any name whatever you want to give this is just the connection reference okay and i normally give it same as the name of the database so all on 19 again this is your choice username sys we are connecting as sys will give sys and it will give the password whatever is the sys password and remember if you are connecting as sys try to use either sysdba or sysopper i'm going to choose sysdb sysdba and localhost here you can either give the ip address or the you can give the uh, you can give the host name so i'll give the ip address 1521 is the default port and sid that we had is aura 19 that's the database that we created now what we can do is we can test in if if everything is good it gives us this success and now i'm going to connect to this particular database and it opens up this particular worksheet and i'm going to run exactly same command that i ran here so let me just copy it and paste it here and if i run it i'm i'm going to get the same output aura 19 read right so that's all good now what i'll, I'll try to do is i'm going to try to create one table so let's do something let's first try to see if we have a table called m and we do not have any table called m and if i run this particular query here as well we can see that there is no such table so now let me exit and let me clear and let me connect again and what i'll do is i'll create a table and i will so something okay so i did not give the column name so amp name yeah so let me create a table and commit it that's done the table amp created commit completed now let's try to select and you can see that there is no record and let's insert and record called one rock so first employee in our organization is with id one with name rock let's commit it and now if i go to here if i run that particular query select star from amp table i should be able to now get the first employee called one rock now if i insert into that particular table so it doesn't matter from where we are inserting it doesn't matter because it's the same database so now if I the second employee which is tone in my organization and joined that's done I'm going to commit it that's done I'm going to come here and now if I say select star from M I should have two employees the first employee is rock the second employee is tone so all good now I before so we have successfully connect, created a database. We have successfully tested the connectivity using the SQL developer. And this connectivity is from my local laptop or local machine. Now, the, the one I want before I end this particular tutorial, I want to explain the concept of listener. So if the listener is down, nothing will happen to this connection. This connection will work fine. However, no new connection can be made. So I'll prove it to you. So what I'm going to do is I'll launch one more command window and not the the sql plus connections which are local they will work fine so let me launch one more command window and what i'll do is under this command window i'll just say lsnr ctl stop listener so i'm going to stop the listener and the okay i should have launched this as the as the administrator so let's run as admin cls clear the screen series dot dot cd dot dot cls let me put this in the middle and i'll say ls nr ctl stop listener and once this once this listener is down nothing let's say wait for this listener to go down give it a minute the the command completed successfully so the now the listener is down now if i try to select from this particular table I can very well select that's all good if I want to insert a new record so let's say three and this time is earth let's say earth had joined so I'm going to insert one more record and if I now commit and if I say select then I should be able to see the third record so 
nothing happens to my existing connection now if i stop if i disconnect and if i now connect to this my connection will not work i won't be able to connect to my database you can see the network adapter could not establish the connection and the reason for that is the listener is stopped if the listener is stopped no new connection remote connections can be made to the database the local connection will still work so if i if i say sql plus as sysdba i'm still i'm i'm still connected so you can see i i can still connect and i can retrieve the record so select star from and so that's works fine so you can see my local connections are still working however my remote connections are no longer working and you can you saw that my remote connections are no longer working to fix this what we need to do is we need to start our listener so i'm going to say lsnr start listener and once that is done once listener has started so give it a minute for the listeners to start once the listener has started go back and the error that you are you are getting so the listener has started so now if i click ok and if if i say connect now the listener does not know currently know of the sid so for whatever reason the listener is up but listener does not know the sid so now what we can do is we can register our database so let's go as sql plus as sysdba and we will say alter system register let's do that that's done now if i go here and if i say connect i should be able to connect and now if i try to re retrieve this record i should be able to get this three employees so the concept that i wanted to explain is if the listener is down if the listener is down the remote connections cannot be made the local connections will still work and nothing will happen to your existing connections existing connections will work fine only the new connections will not work i hope you found this particular tutorial useful in this particular tutorial we saw how to create how to install the oracle 19c database on windows and not only we installed the software we also created the database we also tested the connectivity using the sql developer and we briefly understood the concept of listener i hope you found this particular tutorial useful i hope you like the content that i'm uploading to my channel if you do like the content that i'm uploading my, to my channel do subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial bye bye